Well, we start tonight with the latest developments on the search for a possible serial killer in Stockton. We have now learned the identities of the five Stockton homicide victims believed to be connected to a killer or killers. And in just the last hour, police revealed a local business owner is donating $10,000 for information leading to an arrest in the case. That brings the total amount to $95,000. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera has the latest. People I randomly spoke to say they are well aware of a series of killings believed to be connected here in Stockton. And they all say they are on high alert. At San Joaquin Delta College, 27-year-old student Anthony Sinclair is extra vigilant. Usually I like to be on my phone a lot, but now I just want to make sure I'm looking around both sides. If I'm taking the bus, I'm making sure what's around me, what's behind me. In the past three months, five men have lost their lives in what police call random killings. On July 8th, 35-year-old Paul Yaw shot in the 5600 block of Kermit Lane around 12.30 a.m. August 11th, 43-year-old Salvador Debude Jr. shot in the 4900 block of West Lane around 9.50 at night. August 30th, 21-year-old Jonathan Hernandez Rodriguez shot in the 800 block of East Hammer Lane in an apartment building parking lot around 6.40 a.m. September 21st, 52-year-old Juan Cruz shot in the 4400 block of Manchester Avenue around 4.30 a.m. And September 27th, 54-year-old Lawrence Lopez Sr. shot in the 900 block of Porter Avenue around 2 a.m. Our investigators have reviewed countless hours of video, re several areas, and they believe at this time they've located a person of interest. According to the police chief, this still from surveillance video could be a suspect or witness. He says detectives just don't know at this point. 19-year-old Delta College student Lily Vang is more cautious than ever, waiting for her mother to pick her up. Today, specifically, I haven't heard from her, and I'm not sure if I should, like, leave somewhere on my own until she's here or if I should stay with someone. Stockton Police Chief Stan McFadden says again, be well aware of your surroundings, be on high alert, don't go out alone at night especially. And if you have any surveillance video, like ring camera video from your home where you see someone suspicious, call police. Stockton police have increased patrols at night. Detectives and task force members specifically for this case are working around the clock. Again, there's a $95,000 reward offered for any information leading to an arrest or arrests. We are staying on top of this developing story for you. We will bring you updates on air and online.